Welcome back to the channel. I'm really glad you're here. Today, I'm going to try to remove a couple of tree stumps without a backhoe. You know, when I bought my Kubota B2601 about a year ago, I did not opt for the backhoe. It was just too expensive of an attachment for me. Not something I thought I would use that often. I know if I had one, I'd use it a lot, but I don't have one. Uh, I also don't have a stump bucket. You may have seen those on some other videos where it's kind of a V-shaped bucket and it's used for digging down around roots. I have these old roots here and I'm gonna see if I can use the standard bucket to dig around the tree stump and pull them out. Now we cut these two trees down a couple of years ago and I thought that since they're just pine that they might kind of rot quickly, but they're still really solid and they just won't budge when I push on them with the front end loader. So my thought is if I can dig alongside of these roots and these stumps, I may be able to clear the dirt around them if I have to cut some of the larger roots, hook to it with a chain or the bucket and pull them over and out of the way uh, because I just can't think of any other way to get these out of here. So we'll start by putting some ballast on the back of the tractor and then just start skimming away at this soil and going deeper and deeper as close to these stumps as we can. Now one trick I'm doing, I don't know if you could call it a trick, but 
where I see a long root buried in the ground, I'm going in the direction of the root with my front end loader and I'm just scraping away at it, basically shaving it down so that I can finally just break it off and get under it, hoping that I'll have the leverage to lift it up. By the way, if you like this kind of content, I'd really appreciate it if you'd click the little thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. And if you click that little notification bell and make it turn gray, you'll be notified each time I put out a new video. And I always love to hear from you in the comments. So let's get back to the project. Right down here, this is what I'm trying to lash on to. That's probably a good three, four inch root. I'm underneath of it, but the loader just doesn't have the power to, to pick it up, so I'm just kind of chipping away at it. I've got a couple of other challenges here. First of all, these stumps are really big. These trees were probably 18, 22 inches in diameter. So they were big trees. They lived about 30, 40 years. So they're very big, the tractor's small. The other problem I have is what you see in front of these stumps is our pet cemetery. So I'm unable to dig on this side of the stumps. I'm trying to just dig on one side 
and hopefully I can break them loose and bring them over this way. It's not working out too well. The other challenge is it's November here and where we are, the soil is mostly clay. So once it gets wet, it gets slippery. I don't have any traction. Uh, so that's yet another challenge, but I'm gonna keep picking away at this and we will get there. Remember when you were a kid and you had a loose tooth and it was just a little bit loose and you knew if you just kept playing with it, you would eventually get it. That's kind of what this tree stump is like. I'm starting to see it move just a little bit and I know if I just keep playing with it and if I just get the right spot, it's going to come loose. That was a lot of work. It was a lot of work for me. It was a lot of work for the B2601. Not something I'd want to do every day, but I proved to myself that I could do it. I got rid of the stump. I have a little more to do, but I can pick away at that later on. So again, not something I'd recommend. Hopefully you have access to a backhoe to do this kind of work, but it can be done and we got it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you next time.